Forwarding the Conscious Eco Uprising. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 335. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 335, August 25th, 2019 edition. One Community is bringing together people with consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet, and we are doing this to build self replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability, which is a great transition into today's topic, which is a fun one forwarding the conscious eco uprising. What is the conscious eco uprising? Well, uh, we think it's a bunch of people coming together with consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet to build self replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as a pathway to global sustainability and a world that truly works for everyone within our lifetime. And to facilitate this process, to facilitate forwarding the conscious eco uprising, we are creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do it yourself instructions for all aspects of highest good living so that we can build these prototype teacher demonstration hubs and help replicate them across the world. And if we know, we know that if we can make it easy enough, make these hubs easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough, then they will spread on our own, on their own. And so this is how we're forwarding the conscious eco uprising. You know, we're bringing in the people that, that believe that a sustainable planet and a sustainable civilization is possible if enough people want it. And we're clearing away the barriers to that. We are making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that people will want to build these for themselves and to make it possible and easy. And so everything that we're doing, we're addressing, we're creating an evolution of sustainability, which is taking everything you see in the background of this video and so much more. We're building seven different sustainable village models. Uh, we're addressing, obviously, highest good housing, highest good education models, economic models, food models, energy models. Uh, and truer stewardship, we're putting all these things together. The physical foundations, which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations that we've identified as the highest good fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, economic models, and the truer stewardship as an evolution of sustainability to create a way of life that is better than the way that most people are living right now. And this is how we're forwarding the Conscious Eco Uprising. If we can spread that idea and everything that we're designing is it designed to be implemented as either individual components or the complete teacher demonstration hub model so that People can take what they want and leave what they don't. And it's all open source and free shared so that people can evolve it in the variety, the massive variety of different directions that human diversity demands. And making it all open source and free shared so it's easy and affordable. And we call this project launch blueprinting because we're not just open sourcing it saying, hey, use what we're creating in whatever way you want. We're open sourcing and free sharing it specifically so that it can be used to launch additional projects. We're not just saying use what it is that we're creating. We're open sourcing in a way that says, here's how we create it the way that we're creating it. Here's why we create it the way that we're creating it. So that if you want to modify it and adapt it, you can follow in our footsteps and then branch off in a different direction. And for those organizations that want to open source and free share their information, the same quality and consistency with what we're creating, we'll promote those projects as well. And so we've created a whole structure for this. This is our idea for forwarding the conscious eco uprising, rising up, people rising up to create a world that works for everybody, saying, hey, I'm no longer interested in just sending aid to an area. Let's create sustainable infrastructure. You know, let's teach a person to fish rather than giving a person to fish. Let's create the resources, the tools, everything that's needed to replicate a way of life that most people consider to be far better than the way they're living right now, built on a foundation of sustainability, built on a foundation of helping other people and making a difference in the world, and designed to invite the world to participate, to get involved, to come experience it, to visit it, and to join in whatever way works best for you. This is how we're creating world change. This is how we're making a difference in the world. And so One Community is a 100% volunteer organization. I'm a volunteer and everybody else in our team is a volunteer. We've had almost 400 volunteers help out to this point. We've been at this for almost 10 years now, working towards this, creating the open source plans, refining everything, creating the structure to open source the very process of open sourcing so that it gets easier and more efficient with every single iteration. 
forwarding the conscious eco uprising by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough so the eco uprising will replicate on its own so that we can involve people. And if you take a self-replicating model like that, an idea where 50 people can come together and build themselves a sustainable village, if that idea, if those 50 people, if us as the pioneers can inspire two more villages to begin the year after that, and us and those two then the year after that can inspire four more, and then eight, and then 16, and 32, and 64, I mean, you could include every single human being on the planet within 30 years. Now, is it realistic for it to self-replicate that way? Not necessarily, but we're not trying to involve every single person on the planet. It doesn't have to be every single person. If we can reach that tipping point of participation, we can affect, positively impact every single person on this planet with only a small percentage participating. We can create sustainable civilizations that people can participate in if they want to. And this is what One Community is about, a better way of living. Forwarding the conscious eco-uprising as an invitation to participate because it's better for you, it's better for your family, it's better for your community, it's better for the planet, because it's just a better way to go. And nobody has to participate, but everybody who wants to is definitely invited to. So this is what One Community is up to, and this is what our all-volunteer, our nonprofit team is doing. This is how we're creating world change. Um, take, it out, take a look. Here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments uh, working towards this goal, affording the eco uprising through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team consulted with an electrician and worked on creating the Murphy Bed and Earth Bay Village Dome Home Electrical Layouts in SketchUp 3D. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say we're about 50% done with these layout details. Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, created all these new icons that we've incorporated into the website. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 63rd week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was standardization of the page layouts, part colors, labels, and other details for the table and benches instructions. Every one of these images has been edited in some way during the last week. And Bahi Ahmed, architect, joined the team and completed his first week helping with the Earthbag Village four dome cluster roof designs. This week, Bahi created this presentation outlining why he'd suggest adding colored polycarbonate entry points for natural light and this version 1.0 incorporation of these ideas into the four dome cluster roof. These designs incorporate colorful natural lighting, an additional central dome ceiling option, and additional roofing around the entire perimeter to help with shading the windows and protecting the walls. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, U Chiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his 12th week helping update the City Center AutoCAD and SketchUp files and designing the rainwater harvesting system. This week, he redesigned the living dome patio to maximize space and minimize the need for unique dome pieces found a new pivot door for the cupola, and started working on fixing a mistake in the living dome floor height. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his 16th week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week he continued fine-tuning the new hydronic HVAC to reduce unmet hours by ramping up the loads and running simulations to see how the thermal zones responded. Basement, kitchen, and dining still show high unmet hours. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her 21st week helping with the duplicate city center structural details. This week's focus was continued work on the sliding door entryway frames and correcting more AutoCAD irregularities found on the domes. Matteo Spareto, civil engineer, continued with his third week helping with the city center plumbing designs. This week, Mateus standardized the plumbing files as per the One Community AutoCAD template. You can see some of this work here. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, 
part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued with week 22 of our development of the open source dams, lakes, and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we did a final editing review that included fixing spelling and grammar errors, adding US customary units to the metric units listed, updating imagery, adding some additional videos, and changing the order of some of the content. The core team also continued the cost analysis details for the 100 chicken coop. This week, we started standardizing the formatting of our past work and adding pictures and purchasing links for all of the materials. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated our executive summary page to match our updated business plan. You can see the new page here. The core team working with Brian Guild, project management professional, also again updated our promotion and win-win pages to make them more streamlined and user-friendly. You can see some of the updates here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 42nd week as part of the marketing team. This week, he worked on keyword research for DIY dam design and construction landing page, explored options for the Google Accelerator program to improve the overall performance of the current and future campaigns, and fixed a non-compliance issue with our Google Ads account. Jin Hua, web marketer and graphic designer, also helped fix several website errors Google identified, reviewed all of Emilio's work, and helped create the report shown here to demonstrate the positive results our campaign fine-tuning has produced. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of forwarding the Conscious Eco Uprising. Uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. And if you would like to help out, uh, you can visit our helping page. And of course, the easiest way to help out is to join us on social media to like this YouTube video. Um, and to join us on social media, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Facebook, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are on Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks. Uh, so join us in whichever one you like uh, the most. And if you'd like to help out, share our information there, like our information there, go to our Facebook fan page, go to our Facebook updates page, like a bunch of our posts, or just share one of our pages that you think is most inspirational and useful to people. Help us get the information out, help us spread the word. Uh, of course, donations are always also welcome. We're 100% volunteer team, so every dollar of every donation goes towards forwarding our mission. None of that money goes towards paychecks for me or anybody else. We're all volunteers, and so, but those donations do really make a difference in helping us cover our website expenses and other details like that, so thanks for that. And uh, thanks for watching to the end. Just watching to the end helps our YouTube algorithm. And so if you've watched all the way to the end, thanks. Believe it or not, that also makes a difference. So whatever way works best for you for helping us out and supporting, we appreciate it. It makes a big difference. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.